Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you the acquisitions I've got this April. I know April isn't quite over yet, but I'm not getting any new fragrances for the next few weeks. At least I don't think I am. Be surprised if I did. But I figured I would share with you guys the fragrances that I got this month. Now, this month was a little bit more than I expected. I did do a few swaps with people. Uh, brands were very generous with me this month. I got a lot of things to review for you guys. And I'll let you guys know which things were given to me and which things weren't. And I also uh, purchased some things. Lucky Scent had their spring sale. I went to the Francis Kirk John Boutique. A lot of different things happening so I have a lot more fragrances than I expected to have this month so if you'd like to see what I got then keep watching some of these things you've already seen I have already reviewed them or I've mentioned them on Instagram or things like that so the first one I'm just kind of grabbing from the box because I have everything in boxes over here I'm gonna open them in the box too was actually it was an exchange not an exchange but a swap someone reached out on my depop if you guys go to my depop and you see any fragrances on there i am always open to swapping just reach out to me on instagram or on depop and if you're like i've really been interested in this fragrance i'm interested in swapping i more than likely am totally down to swap so this one was a swap i believe from for droll de rose from Le artisan parfumé and I was really excited to try this. This is Angel Eau Sucre. I believe this is the 2017, but I don't think that there's a major difference in the formula. I think it's more of a difference in the bottle. But I've really wanted to find ways to wear Angel, and I've really wanted to get my nose on this. So uh, the bottle is obviously gorgeous. I really love their presentation, and it's light and sweet. And I haven't worn it, worn it on skin yet because it's been kind of a little bit too hot, but I am really excited to wear this. I was thinking about wearing it today because the weather's been really nice, but since I'm going to be sitting inside all day, I decided against it, but really excited to wear this. So thank you so much to the person who swapped. Really super duper stoked. And they had the box, which was nice because most of my stuff is in boxes. I don't have room. So this is one I got from a swap. The next up is a few from Lucky Scent had a really amazing spring sale and they also had some of their Parfums MDCI busts on sale. So I obviously got one. I was thinking about getting more but the other ones I was interested in were sold out. So lucky for my bank account, they only had one available and I just reviewed this. Um, it's Fitz Persan, which I believe is Parisian or Persian holiday. I'm really bad at French, please forgive me. It is a beautiful spiced fragrance. I absolutely love it. The sale came out to the bust edition, was cheaper than the edition without the bust, which is why I was like, yes, so super duper inside of it, excited. It's a really beautiful presentation. It's a really beautiful fragrance. I was really happy to pick this up. And it's gorgeous. And again, I reviewed it and it's fantastic. And from their sale, I got a few. I'm gonna mispronounce a bunch of things, I'm sorry. This one is from Odin. And I'm gonna have to remember what the name is. I forgot. Oh, 04 Petrana. There's so many different names and so many really unique and creative ways that people title the names of their fragrances that sometimes I just completely am just ignorant so please excuse me i'm gonna link everything below or at least list everything below for you guys i have wanted to get my nose on odin fragrances for such a long time and i was so super duper excited i was gonna get others but they were sold out by the time so this was the only one available but this is one that i really wanted to try and it's just really really beautiful there's something about it that's a little bit powdery at least just smelling the cap. I haven't had the opportunity to really wear this. I kind of sprayed it on myself. I sprayed all these on myself right when I got them and I jumped in the shower. Uh, so I haven't had enough time to really get my nose into them, but this one smelled really beautiful and unique. I was really impressed. I like the presentation too. I think it's really sleek and it comes in like a coffin practically. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see. Some people care about presentation, some people don't, but if I, if I have the presentation, I'll say, show you. So, excited for this. And the other ones I got, this one I was super duper interested in for the longest time. This is from Prof Profumi Del Forte. Again, I'm really, really bad at names. It is 
such a beautiful like marshmallow sweet powdery scent it is gorgeous i really like the presentation i think it's really really cool how you can see through the bottle the cap's nice and heavy it's got the name on top i know some people care about presentations some people don't i feel like i'm a parrot and i keep saying it but this one is so good it's like a marshmallow and baby powder got together and that might not sound like a really good fragrance but it is so successful in this it's really beautiful and elegant and soft and powdery and if you like powdery fragrances definitely check this out I have been wanting it for a while and I finally got it it's so good and then the other one I'm going to butcher 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 the name of this so, so give me yes. obviously i couldn't pronounce that uh but the name of the fragrance is duke of burgundy this is another fantastic one the caps are really nice and tight on this i really like the presentation of this too like it's just really cool the fragrance is from germany and it's just really sexy this is a unisex leaning way on the masculine side so you guys know i love to wear masculine scents i think fragrance is genderless you guys know i've talked about it all the time and this is just really really nice there's something about it that's really smooth and sexy and somewhat like barber shoppy but not it's a little bit avant-garde a little bit sweet and cooling such a deliciously sexy fragrance love this one so much I showed you guys the packaging originally when it was fumbling with the name, but I still kind of wish the packaging is kind of cool. I've dropped the top. I just, when I got the bottle, this was all over the place. So I kind of wish that it was a little bit more secure, a little bit more secure. So that's what I got from Lucky Scent. Then next up is, this is the fragrance. I almost got like five fragrances from the Francis Burke. Uh, Kirk John uh, boutique opening, but I decided on one so I have another reason to go back. And also, Larry was with me, and I didn't want to get anything there that I couldn't get from him because he is amazing. And I got Le Beau Parfum. This is so the box. I don't know why I'm showing you guys the boxes, I usually don't, but I am. This is such a beautiful white floral scent, you guys. I was originally thinking of Ciel de Gum, I think that's what it was called. So I probably said the wrong thing. And then 754 was the other one I was absolutely enraptured with. Gorgeous scent. But there's something about this that's just for white florals in summertime. I love white florals in summer. And this is what I was thinking when I got this, is I was looking for a very rich, a very delicious decadent white floral scent for summer and this is perfect it's a little bit fresh a little tiny big green and soapy in the background which really balances out those beautiful white florals i was so impressed with this fragrance and i couldn't get it from neiman marcus i had could only get it from the boutique or online and i decided i'm really gonna end up getting this at some point i might get this now really beautiful scent um i don't have <laughs> aqua universalis forte yet i'm gonna get that in the next week or two so you'll see that next month that is another amazing amazing scent and i will be reviewing it very soon um, less from this box definitely not done i still have a lot of others to go through uh these are the zoologist fragrances i got i did buy these so i was letting you guys know obviously moth i reviewed this already this is a stunning fragrance really smoky beautiful sweet absolutely gorgeous i love it definitely a little bit animalic so it's not for everybody but i don't think it was designed for everybody it's a very special and bewitching fragrance i love it and this does have i believe the new packaging from zoologist i think they upgraded their bottles and boxes and hyrax i think i said that right i will be reviewing this closer to when it's actually being launched but i do have a review ready for you guys and I'll just give you a little tip, it's a positive review. This is a stunning fragrance. This kind of reminds me of a mix between camel and uh, rhinoceros, if I'm gonna be base it off of other zoologist fragrances. It's really, really good. There's something in there that's kind of really deeply fruity and sweet. I think it's the, what's the exactly, blackberry? Yeah, it's probably the blackberry. Blackberry and the Tonka. Gorgeous scent really beautiful 
absolutely love this one a lot. So I will be reviewing it completely, talking about the note breaks down, talking about the longevity, where you can purchase it when it's available. I obviously pestered the crap out of Victor to let him, to let me buy it before it was released. Um, he is very nice to let me do that so I can review it for you guys. If you guys don't know, I do reach out to Victor. I do buy them. But I ask him if I can purchase them early so that way I can review them closer to launch. And he is usually very nice and deals with me pestering him very graciously and patiently. So that was one box of fragrances that I got. Let's see, that's one. And I'll count the ends. All right, next up were a bunch of bottles that were sent to me. Not all, not the rest of the fragrances that I'm going to include in this video were sent, but the next big bunch of them were. I did get about five five bottles from Max Aroma. They reached out to a few of us. They wanted us to talk about and experience a new line that they're car carrying. I believe the line is based in Dubai and it is a clone house, um, similar to Larive where it's very high quality clones, uh, very popular. And um, they reached out to me. They sent me some of the female fragrances and two of the men. So I'm going to share them with you. I will be having a review on it as always, guys. I will let you know in that video that they were sent to me. And there's going to be some real thoughts on these. There's going to be some good and bad thoughts on these. So I'm going to let you guys know about that. But once I know exactly the note breakdown of everything, once I know exactly the fragrances that these are supposed to be inspired by, then I'll have that video for you up. Video for you up. It should be up next week. So the first two I'm going to talk about are the two unisex men's one. It's niche one and niche two is what they're called. And do not let the generic names fool you and the plastic caps. These are actually the most impressive fragrances out of the ones that were sent to me, aside from one other, and I'll let you guys know. Uh, these are fantastic dupes of what they're supposed to be, which is Silver Mountain Water and Aventus really good dupes. I know Ashton reviewed these too. He reviewed all the men's fragrances, so I'll link his video below if you actually wanted to see him get into the note breakdowns about longevity and things like that and comparing them to the originals. Great video about it. Definitely better than what I will do, especially if you're interested in these two particularly and the men's fragrances because I don't have the men's fragrances, but these are great and I've really been enjoying wearing them. Rosetti, I know that they have a women's and a men's. This is the women's. I think the men's is supposed to be an Invictus clone. Could be wrong. But this is actually not bad. The pa uh, the packaging the packaging is a little cheap, but you know, whatever. It's a clone house. I don't expect the world. The bottle actually is really nice. Um, and the smell clean, fresh, really nice. This, I know what these smell like. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, I know what the fragrances are, but I can't for the life of me put my like nose and name on it, which is why I'm waiting for Max Arana to say, this is what this is supposed to be. This is what this is supposed to be, but really nice fragrance performs pretty well. I enjoy it. Next up is Smile Bouquet. And let me grab this one. If you're wondering, I make that sound all the time. I'm a weirdo. This is such a heavy bottle and such a nice presentation, but the smell of this, it smells, it's not bad. Let me throw it out there. It's not a bad fragrance, but I think I don't like what this is a clone of, but I can for the life of me think of what you are, but I probably would wear this to like bed or wear this to the grocery store. But I will say this is a heavy bottle. This is, you could kill somebody with this. So presentation wise, this is fantastic. And the quality of the juice wise, it's pretty good. I just don't think I like the composition of the juice or the juice or the fragrance that that's trying to be. The last one is actually my favorite and it's Castellar Eau de Parfum for women. This one smells so freaking good. I really like this. And I'm trying to figure out what this is a dupe of because I might buy the original too. The, the presentation of this one is fantastic. Again, nice heavy bottle, really heavy cap. I know Ashton said that too. This is like, this is, I, th I think this feels heavier than this. I know that's bizarre, but this is a beautiful, sweet, light fragrance. I wanna say this reminds me of Prada Candy probably isn't. I mean, I could be wrong. It's got that light sweetness to it, but there's something about this on my skin 
that I love, absolutely love. Gorgeous scent, really beautiful. Light, sweet, a little bit warm, very playful, a little bit fruity. Really like this scent. I remember like taking it out and when you see a scent like this, I'm thinking of something very complicated and mature and sophisticated and those scents are amazing, do not get me wrong. And then you smell it, when you look at this bottle and then you smell it, and it's light and youthful and playful and you're like, what? <laughs> but it works, it's a good scent. Really, really like this one, so yeah. So those are the ones I got from Max Aroma, which is very nice of them. And then Pana London actually was really very nice. They sent me a bunch of samples and I expressed a huge love for a variety of their fragrances. One of them you can only get in Brazil, which um, it was really an amazing scent. And they sent me one of their scents. They were like, oh, I'll send you one. And I was like, well, that's so nice of you, thanks. And they sent me a Gourmanic, I think that's how you pronounce it, orange. This is so freaking delicious. I smelled the sample. I really love what Pana London is doing with Gourmands. There is such like an uncomplicatedness about it, like a true to like pink champagne truffle. I don't know if you guys like chocolate fragrances. That one smells like a piece of chocolate. It smells like a bonbon, but also a fantastic sparkly delicious fragrance. And I like that they're doing that. I like that it smells very true to what it's supposed to be. So this to me smells like just a really rich, almost like heavy liqueur, like decadent orange martini, like an orange chocolate martini. Let me see if I can read you guys the notes real quick. So this has zesty orange, dark fruits, vanilla, and chocolate. It just smells so freaking good, you guys. I'm impressed. I'm constantly impressed with Panda London's fragrances. And I, I'm just like, they're so good. And everyone's like, do you still wear them? When people give you fragrances to review, do you still wear them after? And I'm like, most of them, yes. Cause if I like them, you know, if I review them, I like them. But I'm like, Panda London's are the ones that I like get excited to wear, that I reach out to wear, that I just love so much. So definitely really love this one. It was very generous of them and nice of them to send that to me. Next up are two decants, and I'm going to be doing an entire video on this company. They reached out to me, and um, I've been talking about wanting to mention to you guys where to get reliable decants. And this is a company that um, some of you guys have mentioned to me, and other reviewers have talked about. And I was really super duper excited to learn about them, and they were very generous, and they gave me a gift card to pick out some decants. Uh, normally whenever a company reaches out to me specifically when they want me to talk about their services I don't like taking any money or any sponsorship. I've never taken any money for any type of video People have sent me things to review, but I've never taken a specific amount of money for a video ever I'm not against it, but I feel like if I was ever going to do a sponsored video I would want it to be like an app was sponsoring the video or something completely unrelated to the actual um, video. So that way it's like, this video was brought to you by whatever the hell super awesome candy game is popular on an app in the app store and then talk about something completely unrelated so that way it had nothing to do or influence in the video. So these guys are really great. And I said, I would love to talk to you, but I need to actually um, try your service first. I need to make sure that I can trust your service. And they were like, well, here, you know, here's a gift card, check it out. And I ended up getting things that were more than the gift card. So I spent some money and their shipping time, their packaging, their customer service was really freaking great. And so it is the Fragrance Decant Boutique. I will be doing a video on them next week. Again, they did reach out to me. So as you guys know, when I talk about that video, you will know. But uh, the two things that I picked from them are two fragrances that I am very, very familiar with that I've been wanting to review. I just haven't purchased full bottles of them yet. And it's two of the Dior fragrances and it's Dior Amber Nuit and Dior Fave et Delicious. I know I pronounced that wrong. Love these guys so much. Munch. So much. I have extensive experience on them so I know what they're supposed to smell like. And generally overall, very generous decants and a great variety that you can choose from rollerball sprays and a variety of different sizes. So these are the two things I got. I wasn't sure if I was gonna start sharing with you guys when I purchased decants, because I do purchase decants. 
So if you guys want to see those in my haul videos, let me know. But I did want to include these guys in this list because I was pretty super stoked for them. And obviously I'll probably wear through this quick and buy a full bottle probably closer to fall. Last but not least is, I got it this morning actually, uh, these uh, Oliver & Co perfumes, uh, an avant-garde perfume company from Madrid. And really excited for these. These are the Nebula series, two of them. This is Nebula 2 Karina, and this is Nebula 1 Orion. These fragrances get mixed reviews, and I think that the reason why they get mixed reviews is because I've smelled these before and I really like them. If I can open them, I don't know why it's letting me open you. It's being silly. There we go. Has to do with um, them being more avant-garde. Some people like avant-garde fragrances, some people don't. I do, and I think that's why I'm kind of like really super into it. The bottles for these are beautiful, really gorgeous. And this is just, again, really beautiful fragrances. I will be reviewing them all. It's really gorgeous, green, fresh. Amber green, they're, he's, they're most known for amber green. I don't know why I didn't pick up a bottle of that too. I'm kind of kicking myself. And then the next one again is Orion. I'm sorry this like video is so everywhere, all over the place. I have been just like completely scatterbrained recently. Anyway, here is Orion as everything falls to the floor. So yeah, this is again, really fantastic fragrances. I will be reviewing them. I've been wanting to pick these up for a while at a 40% off sale for like a day. I missed their last sale, so I was I jumped on it. I should have gotten amber green. I'm so pissed. I wanna smell like parsley. Oh, such a good scent. I do have a sample of it though to remind myself but I make poor decisions and don't buy things when I should. But yeah, these are the last two and these were purchased. Also the last one, the real last one, uh, my mom was really nice and she picked me up a vintage bottle of Norel. This is the Eau de Toilette. This was one of her favorite fragrances growing up and I think she bought two bottles, one Eau de Toilette and one Eau de Parfum and she gave me one which is really, really nice. So I was like adding little treasures like this to my collection. Super duper excited for this. All right, guys, thank you so much. I know this video was a lot more all over the place than my videos or my haul videos normally are. It's just, there's a lot of different things to talk about. A lot of different fragrances, a lot of different fragrances from different places. And I really want to start kind of like talking more about the scents when I haul them rather than just showing you over and over and over. I kind of want this to be a little bit more intuitive. Is that the right word? Probably not. In any case, guys, I will be re trying to review all of these. I will definitely be reviewing the ones from Max Aroma very soon. The one from Francis Kirk John is going to be coming out in the next week or two. If there's any other fragrances that you would like to see a review of sooner rather than later, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys have any experience with these fragrances, good or bad, I'd love to know what you guys think. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below. As always guys thank you so much for watching if you like these types of videos these haul videos and stuff like that make sure to give this video a thumbs up it lets me to continue doing videos like this and also don't forget to subscribe thank you guys so much i hope you're all happy and healthy and have a great day month year whatever and i'll see you next time bye